A new poll has a little bit of good news for President Trump when it comes to impeachment and the swing states. Hey everybody, I'm Chad Hasty, host of the Chad Hasty Show, which airs weekday mornings, 8.30 to 11 a.m. Central Time on News Talk 95.1 FM and 7.90 a.m. KFYO. A new poll out from the New York Times shows that in the battleground states uh, that Trump is most competitive in and the states uh, that Trump took in 2016, well, uh, there's a little bit of good news for the president. They support an impeachment inquiry but not necessarily support removing Trump from office. This from the New York Times. Voters in the state's likeliest to decide the 2020 presidential election support the impeachment inquiry that House Democrats began last month, but a majority still oppose the president uh, being impeached and removed from office. And the six closest states that carried uh, carried by the president in 2016, a registered uh, voters registered voters support the president uh, or support the impeachment inquiry by a five point margin, 50 percent to 45 percent. The same voters oppose impeaching and removing from office by a count of 53 percent to 43 percent. Uh, the survey depicts a deeply divided electorate in battleground states from a year uh, states from a year from the election with the president's core supporters and opponents exceptionally energized and unified yet at the same time a crucial sliver of moderate voters just seven percent support the inquiry without backing Trump's impeachment and removal from office in other words, People may support the inquiry, they may support asking questions, but they haven't seen enough to actually say, yes, the president should be removed from office. And let's not forget this, the House of Representatives has yet to actually vote on even an impeachment inquiry. There's a quasi-impeachment inquiry going on right now, but it's not a true impeachment inquiry. It's Nancy Pelosi and House Democrats doing whatever the hell they want to do without involving Republicans and without uh, going through the steps that they would normally go. Uh, and so you have this uh, fake impeachment inquiry that's out there right now that, yeah, it's supported by uh, about 50% of people and the other 50% don't support it. Guess what? 50% of people don't like President Trump. 50% of people do like President Trump. Uh, you know, he's, he's a very polarizing figure. Uh, there are Democrats that would be in that would be fine impeaching President Trump uh, because he sneezed. Uh, they would be okay with that. They would have no problem with that. Uh, but what we are seeing in these battleground states, at least according to the New York Times, and if you want to say, well, this poll may lean to the left, well, that's even better news uh, for President Trump. Listen. I think we're, we're still far enough away from the election, obviously, uh, that a lot's going to happen between now and Election Day. And we still don't know, by the way, uh, who President Trump's opponent is going to be. The Democrats uh, have chaos on their side, and it doesn't seem like the electric is happy with any of the Democrat choices right now for president. So I think uh, Trump is sitting pretty right now. I think even with this impeachment stuff hanging over his head, the Senate's not going to vote to impeach the president. We still have not seen yet uh, any evidence to show that the president should be impeached and removed from office. I think the American people, uh, in, including the moderate voters, the folks sitting on the fence here, uh, see this for what it is right now, a political move used by the Democrats to go after Trump because they don't think any of their guys, uh, whether it's uh, Joe Biden, Elizabeth Warren, or Bernie Sanders, can take down the president. So the only thing that they have to hang their hat on right now is impeachment, and I think a lot of people are going to see through that. Tune in to the Chad Eastie Show, weekday mornings, 8.30 to 11 a.m. Central Time on News Talk 95.1 FM and 790 AM KFYO. Have a great day.